कैसे हो भाई लोगों यहाँ पे रॉकस्टार के चाचू की गांड फट गई लेडीज एंड जेंटमैन वी गॉट अ टॉक अबाउट जीटीए 6 व्हेयर द हेल इज ट्रेलर 2 एट वी गॉट अ टॉक अबाउट द मैप लीक्स एज़ वेल गाइस वी गॉट अ गो थ्रू द एंटायर मैप द लुसिया बोर्ना एज़ वेल वी गॉट अ टॉक अबाउट द लुसिया बोर्ना एंड वी गॉट अ आल्सो टॉक अबाउट दिस बिकॉज़ सेकंड्स आर नाउ एक्चुअली गोइंग क्रेजी ओवर you got the trailer one and you got the end game man like the video if you just want a good game like the video if you love your mama like the video if you love god let's go for two likes on the video and i want to show you guys this video right here as well we're gonna get down to it okay shout out to the homie saints fan roll it tell from the title of this video i wanted to take a look at if trailer one will actually be what the game ends up looking like. And look, dog, if the game actually looks like this, you know, trailer one, it's like crazy amount of NPCs and in game, it's like, <laughs> if it's like that, man, WW5 is gonna start. I know trailer one's been out for like eight months. Not. We probably should have taken a look at this. 10 months, more than 10 months, brother. It's like we coming up on a year anniversary. Where, where is trailer two? We're, we're gonna talk about it. A while ago, but the hype is building to like, crazy amounts i already showed this last week people are going nuts looking at like toilet paper disability spots for parking here's a new one someone counted every individual npc in their trailer apparently there's 630 so shout out to not corsa on reddit for finding that but i wanted to make this video for those people who are just getting crazy high expectations everything you see in trailer one might not actually be as it actually is and oh, how i'm gonna oh. demonstrate this is oh, wow. we're gonna actually revisit gta 5's trailer Boys, it about to get real interesting though. Clench your butt cheeks, put your seat belts on, and wait for it is all I gotta say. Man. One. And as we'll see in that trailer, there's a lot of stuff that doesn't make it to the game or that was significantly changed. So all this stuff we're talking about, all this stuff we're seeing in GTA 6 is trailer one. It might be a bit different when it's in the actual <laughs> game. So let's go nah, ahead and hop nah. into the video. Now a quick history lesson on GTA 5's development it actually started the preliminary work started in april of 2008 so like right around when gta 4 released but full development was actually only three years for gta 5 which is absolutely Bruh. crazy what? considering gta 6's what? development has been like eight dog like gta 6 development feels like that these things have been working on it for a century though you know they started the development all the way back when dinosaurs existed and it still hasn't come out that's how it feels like right years now. or something like that so what this means is if the full development was three years, the game came out in 2013, that means full development didn't start really until 2010, and GTA 5's trailer 1 came out in 2011. Yeah. So that trailer 1 we saw for GTA 5 was really only about a year into full Nah, that, that gotta be capped though. That, that's cap, that's capped, that's capped. That's cap. Because they got like different teams working at different times, right? Now this was not a year of development work, bro. Like this was more than that, bro. I would say like three years, probably more than minimum three years, minimum three years development of the game, which is pretty understandable that the trailer had some, you know, cut content, some stuff missing and some mistakes. And again, comparing that to GTA 6 or trailer one, it is a big difference because big, GTA 6 trailer one came out after the game was in development for, you know, a handful of years. Yeah. Uh, like after seeing the trailer, nobody was looking like this. Nobody was looking like this, right? Bruh. People are looking like this right now, waiting for trailer two. And apparently they're having their investor call on November the 6th, 4.30 PM Eastern time, if I'm not mistaken, a live stream for you suckers out there. Like and subscribe for that. If you guys do use Instagram, I would love to have you there as well. Let me actually shout out real quick. And I got a video that I want to share with you. Wait for it, okay? Shout out to Cler uh, Cleric, shout out to Added Again Media, shout out to Willy, shout out to Willy, man. Shout out to you guys for actually following over on the Instagram. All right, let's get back to the content here, boo-boo. So I did just want to mention that before we actually hop into the actual trailer. Okay. So okay. I have the trailer one here for GTA 5. We're not going to watch the whole thing. We're just going to go to a couple of scenes and I'll point out the things that were either missing or cut from the game. This also is like not the best quality. So sorry about that. It doesn't matter too much. Right oh, off the bat okay. though. So we have uh, this scene. If I played a little bit more, we have this scene on the pier and check out these two ladies in the back. They are sort of, as they're jogging, they're turning around and checking out these other two dudes. Okay. Damn, you can see the kind of sheesh. moved. That is nowhere to be found in GTA 5. So this little animation, unless it's in like a minor cutscene somewhere, but in free roam at least, this little animation where these two women check out these other two people, that is not in the game. So that's something right off the bat in GTA 5's trailer one that is a little misleading. We have another huge change here in this scene. I think that's supposed to be Mount Chiliad, but we have these three hikers, and this is the most egregious scene as far as how it looked in the trailer versus how it looked in the game. Okay. The game looks nothing like this. There's a couple of things to point out here. We'll actually start with these hikers. 
they're actually these two on the right they're holding hands as they're hiking you can see uh, if i actually go back a bit they're holding no. hands there that is not in the game you cannot find npcs that are actually For holding real? hands in the game so it's That's another again crazy. sort of misleading thing it's making the world these NPCs. okay so i i get like his point though i get his point but wait for it guys wait for it but uh, here's the thing though trailers are never like 100 they're never like eight way right they're never gonna be like the most accurate depiction of the game or for example like sometimes you see like movie trailers and you see some scenes that aren't even in the movie it's just to hype you up right i remember the best example i can give you is a doctor strange 2 trailer right there were a couple of scenes in that movie and it, it made it felt like that the movie is gonna be crazy the movie was odd it was odd but it wasn't as crazy as it, how it was shown in the trailer so it happens all the time i also believe that we also gotta uh, compare gta 6 with red dead redemption 2 i think comparing it that uh, gta 6 to gta 5 is not entirely accurate because this game came out like you know a lifetime ago bruh <laughs> lifetime ago bro and now like everybody's getting to like 80 years being 80 years old uh, on the internet like in the internet slang you know what i'm saying PCs feel it's a lot more accurate, alive though. than they actually were. Also, in the background, the the mountains look a lot bigger, which could be a bit of forced perspective. Um, so it's not big. Okay. That crazy. The mountains do actually look like this in the game, and I'll show you guys a picture in a second here. The big one okay. though are the trees. These trees on the uh, the right hand side here, and I guess even back here, they are not in the game. They never were added Bro. to the game. I know some people were speculating Bro. they took them out. You know, in this PS3 version because of performance and all that, which makes sense, but you would have thought, you know, at least down the line when they released it, re-released it for the PS5, they would have added these trees back, right? If that nah, was these seconds said that, nah, man, y'all seconds can go pound sand. We ain't gonna even bother with that, though. Yeah, right? The big thing, but they never did. So, you know, these trees, the foliage, the density of the foliage is definitely reduced in the final version of the game. Yeah, I would say, like, it does look, yeah, the trailer does look, this area and trailer does look a lot more pretty, for sure. And here we have what that scene actually looks like in game. So this is on the PS3. You can actually see the ridges of the mountain are the same. It looks a lot smaller though. And I think that's maybe because of the forest perspective, like the, yeah, maybe. they might've zoomed in in the rock structure a bit to make the mountain look a bit bigger, but those trees aren't even close. Uh, here we actually have on the uh. PS4, the same sort of mountain, maybe a few trees added, but not those ones that we actually saw in the trailer. And again, back in the trailer. Yeah, honestly, like the trailer atmosphere, you see the atmosphere right in the trailer. Now, Rockstar do have a very good track record. Like what you see is what you get. I guess this time we didn't, or at least in this scene, we didn't necessarily kind of a brown yeah. moment. But now, honestly, GTA 6 got a, it, it, nah, bro. Like they cannot mess it up, bro. If they mess it up, bro, that would be a crime. That would be criminal if they 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 mess it out, mess it up somehow. It, it's just like I, I'm gonna say it, bro. The way it is, all right. I'm gonna keep a buck fifty with you guys. We get Call of Duty games every year, okay? If they mess a Call of Duty game up, we're gonna get another one next year. But with GTA 6, if this game comes out and it it's not what the fans were expecting it to be, and if it turns out to be bad. It's not like we're gonna get GTA 7 a year after or two years after, right? You feel what I'm saying? So they cannot mess it up. And the trailer does look amazing. I, and I think the game is gonna be... It gotta be somewhere close to that. But if it's not, man, holy crap. Is it gonna be like this, bro? If it turns out to be this, your part of me feels like that. At least the cars on the roads. Because we saw a crazy amount of cars in the trailer on the roads, right? I feel like... And we talked about it uh, before too, right? Like, I believe... We're not gonna have that many cars on the road. Why? Because of the gameplay perspective. I, I, it's because like if there's just so many cars on the road, then how are you gonna? Because people love to drive around, right? Like they want to drive fast. People are not gonna follow rules uh, playing GTA 6, right? So everybody's gonna be crashing into cars, and it's not gonna be as fun to play the game. Now I do hope there's a vehicle density slider just like how we would have some like that on the pc i hope we have that on ps5 and series x right and also on the ps5 pro man ps5 pro coming out man. ps5 pro ps5 pro coming out too if you have a vehicle density slider like the video if you agree uh if you should get it if we have that then you can you know lower it up it and uh if you go max then you got crazy amount of cars the way we saw in the trailer but even then i think we're not gonna have that many NPCs and that many cars though. I'm just trying to be real with you guys, guys. Like, I, I hope it's true, but uh, 
it just don't feel that way i think for something like this you would need playstation 20 though you know what i'm saying on a beach they can't have that many npcs of course it's not gonna be all the time you know at different times uh different weather at different weather times maybe you got that many people and other times you only got like two people and understandably especially at night time there would be less people if it's raining then you would probably see like one guy or maybe zero right you know they're gonna make it realistic in that aspect so i i see that happening but maybe at some times during the day at good weather when it's full sunny then you got that many people at least on the beach around here beach beaches area but on the roads you're not gonna get crazy amount of cars uh, or maybe i'm wrong we'll see it's just it's a, it looks like a completely different scene so that's definitely one of the more egregious okay, shots okay. in this trailer Wait that for it. never Wait really for it. looked like this in the game i want to pause here because i don't even know if people realize this apparently this franklin, character no? over here on the right that's supposed to be franklin so oh, that damn. just goes supposed to show to that back at least in trailer one for gta 5 they didn't even know what their other main character one of the other main characters was gonna look like because that does not look like franklin so this is it just looks a like a little bit a little bit like a little bit another thing i wanted to point out because things will change the people's the npc's appearances could change and we already did facts, see that with jason facts, a bit facts. from the leaks to trailer one yeah it looks like they maybe aged him up a bit in trailer one they also changed the true because jason in the actual uh, leaks uh, gameplay don't he looks like a he looks basically pale right he looks super pale but in the trailer he looked good he looked good though i really hope that they do not turn him into a strong independent queen mm -mm. <laughs> I really hope they they don't give Jason that. I hope they don't give Jason that makeover, man. We don't want that. We want Jason being a man. We want him to a strong, independent man, okay? Not strong, independent woman, though. It's a bit of his style. And, and hopefully Lucy is strong. And I wouldn't mind independent, but I hope she's not, like, strong, independent, need no man kind of bull squash. I, I really hope they don't do crap like that. I hope it's a good game, man. I hope it's a good game, man. He looks a lot more like uh, Arthur Morgan from RDR2. If anyone watches the leaks, he does look like a completely different person. So facts, that facts, is something facts, also to be or to keep. It, it feels like that they added a lot more. He they injected him with testosterone, and, and you got like yeah, a lot of hair, right? So chest hair as well, kind of. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. So yeah, you got that. You got that. that that's good, man. That's good. That's good. mind watching GTA 6's trailer one. The NPCs could change a bit as well. This actually goes right into this next scene, which is something I've never noticed until I was looking at this. But at this bottom part, I go oh, back damn. a bit look at all of that dust being kicked oh, up by the this car on this dirt road oh, that is damn. not even close to happening in the actual game i don't even think on the ps5 version you get that much sort of dust and sand or whatever that is mud being kicked up on this dirt road so that's something like if you were back in the day looking heavily into this trailer like oh my god look how cool that looks how realistic that looks that didn't make it into the game so sadly, as far as these small sadly. things we're all picking up on in gta 6 you know they definitely could get toned down a bit in the final version of the game as we continue we also have this scene of these npcs doing yoga on the balcony that wasn't in like the free roam it, again it might have been some of this stuff might have been in cut scenes for like a split second but in free roam at least because that's the main thing i wanted to point out this was not in the game you I, I think this is this is why this is why they didn't add it though i think this is probably why you know this is why but but we had that yo yoga me yoga mechanics we had the yoga mechanics uh, at uh michael's house right you know when michael catches his wife and the instructor though yay we had that we had that in a way right they change it a little you cannot bit not go anywhere and see but let's actually uh, get down to the gtsx situation right the uh the vegetation is a bit different and it's less mm, yeah i remember like this is a shot from the trailer from the gta 5 yeah and they cleaned up a lot this looks way better in the trailer it does look way better though holy crap like people have been really digging it up let's get down to gta 6 the roster has learned a bit from that again like i mentioned they also have a lot more development time in gta 6 yeah. uh, for this trailer one but things like this scene i definitely think some of these props are going to get reduced especially mm -hmm. on the xbox series s if anyone is trying to play Thanks. gta 6 on that oh, series that's like it, it, the, people would be lucky if the game plays uh, runs at like 30 fps you know what i'm saying like 720 30 fps i think that's what it should be i hope they do not do uh, they do not do 1080p 15 fps bro like I, I swear to god at that point bro i rather 720 and 30 fps right right now what we're hearing is that even on the ps5 and xbox series x it's gonna be 30 fps son so it's like what oh, shit. Oh. what and we're also hearing from this from digital foundry doesn't mean that it's going to be 100 percent accurate time time will tell us for sure but seconds we're saying that if it's 30 fps on the normal ps5 it's also going to be 30 fps on ps5 pro and if that's really true i mean damn man like damn 
Like, that's crazy, though. And I've actually visited this area in real life just a couple of months ago. And, bruh, like, ever since I visited Miami, uh, I'm actually way more excited for this game, uh, to be honest. Any of you visited Miami or any of you lived there, le let me know, man. Console, I don't even know how you're gonna do that. You might be playing at a PowerPoint presentation level, like like two FPS a second. But it seems like this are, are for sure, you know, gonna get changed. Whether it's like some of this tree density gets dropped, some of these umbrellas gets I toned down not. a bit, you know. I, I hope not. I hope the trees density, everything is there. I, I hope they like for example the wildlife, the, the birds that are flying, just reduce them a little bit. Reduce the NPC. I don't want it, especially around the beach area. I don't want that. But but like I rather this than like the the atmosphere, right? I I hope the atmosphere is fully present. Tops. You know, some of these uh, birds disagree. flying gets toned down a bit. It's probably not gonna be a lot as much as GTA 5's trailer one. Yeah, but yeah, I'm yeah, sure yeah. on yeah, yeah. the consoles, you know, you're gonna see some of this stuff. Maybe on PC and if there's a PS6, you know, whenever that comes out, this stuff might get added back. But if Rockstar are trying to hit like a 4K 60 FPS or even a 4K 30 FPS, some of this stuff might have to go. I'm not saying it will, mm -hmm. but. It's, it's stuff like this that will end up getting chained. Dog, right now we're hearing that we're gonna be lucky if the game runs at 1080, 60 FPS or 1080, 30. <laughs> <laughs> now, I think they're gonna target 4K 30. Uh, but I'm not sure if they're gonna have modes. I really hope they have modes where you got dynamic 4K with 60 FPS. I'd rather dynamic 4K than native 4K 30. Because, yeah, right, like, everything is better in 60 FPS, though. 30 FPS or 60 FPS, let me know where you guys are at with it. Also, this scene out in, like, the Everglades, I think, uh, you might not see as many birds, especially, like, these Dang. flamingos and stuff. They might have to tone down some of this. Man, that is crazy, right? Like, we have waited so much for the trailer, too, and we're hearing that it's coming out. It's coming out! It's coming out! That's what we're hearing, right? But we have waited so much that right now everybody's like, bro, there is no content, let's go back and let's just, like hardcore analyze it right this is what's going on but i mean is the brother wrong though brother in line he ain't lying yeah he is not lying though he's uh being objective about it but i feel like that when we first saw the trailer i heard people say that now nah, man there's no way we're gonna have that many but that was it but now it seems like that brothers are psychoanalyzing it though i mean gta 5 just got animals on the ps5 it's taken them two generations to get it so while this yeah. scene looks awesome there's a, a ton of birds a ton of wildlife in it it might get toned down as well. Yeah. And then, of yeah, course, yeah. like the beach scene. Yeah, there's there's a ton going on in this scene. And I'm sure at least some of this stuff is going to be toned down. I think a lot of this was put here for just this trailer shot. But just look at how many NPCs here, how many different props are here going down the beach, like like further back this way. There's so much going on. Maybe on PC, this will this will be what it looks like if you have like, an insane setup. But on the consoles, I'm sure. Some yeah, you would need like RTX 50 billion for that. And we don't know. We don't know when. The ow, ow, ow. We do not know when this game is going to come out on PC. Probably like a year later or two years later. Some of this stuff will eventually be toned down a bit. Now, small things like this guy checking his watch while he's jogging. I think little things like. Nah, bro. I think he's checking something else, though. That yeah. might actually end up being in the game. I don't think they're going to pull a GTA 5 where, you know, some of these animations aren't in the game, aren't in free roam. Just because the technology is better now. So I think stuff like that yeah, will end yeah, up making yeah, it into the game. Yeah. But it's just the, the big thing for me is the amount of people, the amount of stuff. I think they're going to have to turn that down. I also. Uh, 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 yeah! Hey, whoa, 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 hey, 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 whoa, whoa. I was going to. I was going to say that. That I, I because Rockstar do love the UFOs and the conspiracies like that, right? We always have uh, Easter eggs like that. We had them in GTA 5. We had them in or it had them in Red Dead Redemption 2. Man, if they're gonna reduce the NPCs, then yeah, might as well not even put that in the game. They're probably gonna put it. Let's be real though. But yeah, right. I was gonna ask for more, but now you're telling me that they're gonna reduce it. I cannot even ask for more if that makes sense guys like damn man this thing is crazy man but if you guys are into ufos and conspiracies i would definitely love to have you over on the second channel okay? this is where we upload mostly every day to scary x guys gang gang check it out all right let's get back to the content here into the game but it's just the, the big thing for me is the amount of people the amount of stuff i think they're gonna yeah, have to yeah, pull yeah. that down i also wanted to bring up this like strip club scene just because there is a lot going on there's a lot of animations in this scene this might be one of the other scenes that is a little bit misleading. And the reason yeah. I am bringing that up is in the leaks from like two years ago, we actually mm. did have a scene or a, a clip where Lucia and Jason, I think Lucia specifically, was walking through a strip club. I don't know if it was, if yeah, it was yeah, this yeah. specific I remember one, that. but it didn't look like this. Now, obviously, that was a little bit earlier in development, but I would maybe hold back your expectations on what the strip club is going to look like. Nah, yeah, yeah, no, nah, for real, for real. Because like, here's the thing though, because if there's this many NPCs, then how are you going to walk? The walking would be a little bit junk, uh, janky. Is that the word? It's going to be a little, yeah, you know what I mean? 
but I hope they don't like reduce the atmosphere though because like the atmosphere is crazy like 4k ray tracing man with that ray tracing with that ray tracing 60 no nah, 6 dead damn man I'm saying 60 fps while I know it's it probably not gonna be man man look like I don't think it's gonna have all of these different man. animations going when you walk in like there's people holding yeah. up this the fireworks or whatever obviously people twerking all over people dropping money all over like there's just a lot going on in that scene it was only there's for a, a split lot. second there's there but lot, yeah. there's a lot going on so i doubt that's what this strip club is gonna yeah. look like this might Ooh. just be from a cutscene or something but for the most part i think the rest of this trailer i, I would imagine it yeah th i can see this many cars there aren't many that many cars you see here right yeah i can see this much this much npcs on a normal uh like normally in the game it's how it's gonna look when the game comes out like in this scene, we have facts, a bunch facts. of different lighting, the graphics, all of that stuff I think is going to be the same, if not even better. It, it's just some of the minor things like the density of the trees and the foliage, the density of some cut, of the animals. Yeah. If I go to the next scene, like maybe there's too many cars. Yeah, th this many cars, exactly. And even in the beginning of the trailer, when you have so, uh, we, we had so many cars, I don't think we're going to have that many though. In this scene, maybe they'll, they'll be scaled back a bit. Hopefully we do get 100%. stuff like this guy asking these NPCs for money while he has an iguana on his shoulder. Hopefully yeah, stuff like that we need. Absolutely. That's going to add to the immersion, to the atmosphere. But if they're going to reduce the cars, I get it though. But I hope they have like a vehicle density bar where we can lower it or up it. I think that would be much better because uh, sometimes maybe you're going to play with like crazy amount of like cars. But other but other other times you might not want to you might you might want to just like scroll through the streets fast. I feel like that in the very very beginning of the game when you pick it up, you want like high immersion, like so many NPCs, so many cars. But uh, but as you get to play the game and you're in like five hours deep, ten hours deep, depending on how long the game is, right? But uh, uh, yeah, when you're five hours deep, maybe you are like, okay, let me just chill a little bit. Let me lower it so I can fly through the roads faster though. But guys, check out this video on the screen. We recently had like leaks about the trailer too and Lucia Burda in that one too. Yeah, trailer two leaks. Check out check out this video on the screen and I'll see you right there. If you already seen it, then check out the video on the left, man. Crazy amount of clips, bro.